Hey everybody, Kuzmus here, back again with Hollow Knight. We've got a few more things to do to complete our journal. I will admit I did have to do some digging around to figure out where some of these were. Oops, these. Alright, I usually like to do this with a uh, quick slash on. I don't think I... I might have it on. I think I remember these things, but huh, that'd be silly actually remembering what I'm doing. That's pure lunacy. Okay, I think we can fall safely. Uh, but yeah, I did have to kind of look up, try to figure out what I was missing. And one of them is somewhere... around here. It's one of the things we just don't have an entry on because we can't actually kill it directly. Whoops. And... I swear I pushed jump. Um... <laughs> In fact, it was the thing we just ran into. So, we are going to... Let's see about taking care of that. And somewhere... Over this way. Is this the one that got, uh... Yeah, disabled. I think it's over this way. I'm not sure where exactly but I know as you can tell just from my the way I'm moving it's somewhere near the roof that's uh, not that is it how could I if it's that how could I miss that aha okay and you can t here it was a section I have not been into so Gets us a step closer. Inspect. An imprint of abyss given form. It brings us to 152. Void tendrils. Fragments of void taking the shape of sharp, thrashing tendrils. The bugs of Hollow Nest sometimes wondered whether there were other, older, stranger kingdoms deep below them. What strange fancies they had. That's probably why they were always so distracted and easy to kill. Alright, so that is one thing taken care of. And we can't get through there. Okay. We'll be coming back here uh, sooner or later, but for now, we are. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. You know, it may have not been so bad to go back there, but. Nah, it's much closer. Probably. Alright, next I have to head to Kingdom's Edge, and since it is a little bit of a trip, I will meet you there. Alright, so there's a, I'm going to take a minor detour, found out one fella I managed to overlook, uh, let's see if we can make it away from you, not sure exactly where it is, but Somewhere in one of these. That's obviously not it. So let's keep going. I swear I've tried to go in some of these before, but like... I swear I don't remember being able to go into quite so many of them as apparently I'm able to. I can't quite get there. Okay, we know that. What are you? Let us see. A lot of you fell in here. None that we want, though. Continuing on. Maybe somewhere around you, perhaps. Oh, doing so good at that. I was not that door because I can't open that door. Any further? Oh, excuse me, sir. Have I gotten through here already? I think I have. Yeah, they had a... I what they called a grub in there. Alright. That being the case. 
This is... Oh, place I've never been. Surprising, actually. They've been so bad at trying out these doors. Songstress Marissa, a voice to ease all burdens and still all troubled minds. Oops. That was supposed to just be a temporary detour. But, ooh. I'm not sure that's all that useful. Ah. Wonders Journal. Okay. Let's bring this down. And now we can check over here for stuff. How high did that thing go? Whoops. Exactly that high, I suppose. Let's bring it down. Go. We'll wait here. There we go. It's going to make getting down a little difficult, but I like to climb myself, so. This is not where I was trying to go, actually. This is going to make the detour take that much longer. Marissa. Oops. Oh, got some rancid eggs. Lovely. Tastes wrong. Hungry. So my guess is they tried to eat the rancid eggs. Oh, even more. Uh, yeah, everything's all rancid. Shro a scroink, you look pretty skinny, very scrawny. That's the way to be, I reckon. Just look at me, a great big, juicy, fatty, oily, scrumptious bug. No wonder I'm so popular around here. Apparently they're eating them. I need more. Anything to say? Nothing? Okay. Interesting. A lot of strange stuff going on up here. Anything through here? Nope. And I guess this just brings... Hmm, pleasure house. Interesting. Let me just sit. Oh, it's not actually just sitting, but let's just just listen to the music, which is actually quite lovely. I wouldn't mind just listening to it for an extended time period. Welcome to my stage, little one. I am Marissa, a songstress of some renown. Though given the sorry state of this place, you may find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing. Then something changed. The audience, once so enwrapped, began to le leave. I continued to sing, yet my voice felt silent upon their ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing? I'll be the first in an age to hear it. Anything else to say? Even if, even if only you, it's a wonderful thing to have an audience again. Okay, can I... Yep, I can harvest her. We harvest everything. <laughs> Wonder, I'm guessing she won't come back. Whoopsies. Oh well. Alright, what do we got over here? A little, little uh, hot spring. We don't really need it, but... Place to sit. Get the pleasure house on our map. And we've got something through here. Oh. Where? Oh. Interesting. Is that... You know, actually, that will be quicker. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to. Not as far down as thought. Uh, some because I'd have to go sliding down walls and try to avoid spikes. So I no, go this way. So I think this will, in fact, be quicker. Is the it's not here. 
So we'll just drop back down here. This, this is a way bigger detour than I expected it to be. So... I, I guess this whole bit will be a little more of the episode than I was expecting. It may end up being the entire episode. Can I take this guy down? I want to get to where I can take them down with no damage. Oh yeah. Very pleased with that. I mean, I'm not going to keep at it because that is a lot of freaking uh, effort. Come on. Ah, dang it. Let's try that again. I want to say it's somewhere around... Is this where it just was? Uh, no, but... Hmm. The place I'm looking for is supposed to be around here somewhere. Not down here. Not here, obviously. And that goes back up to there. Huh. What am I missing? Maybe. Ow. Jerk. And what? Yeah, it's this way. Is that me in here now? It shows a door here, but I can't go through it. Hmm. And this is just a place with a couple random people in it. Oh! Aha! That is what I was looking for. Way closer. You are a very sturdy fellow. Worth a ton of money. Apparently this is the only one that will ever appear. I wonder how much I would have gotten if uh, I'd had on Unbreakable Greed. Oh, right. I'm being done. I was like just up a little bit, it's like a really tricky spot to hit. Okay. Now we continue our journey to Kingdom's Edge. See there. Alright, we are coming up on the location we need to be. And actually, I just pointed out, you can see here, pointing with the top arrow, it's actually a spot we haven't been past, and you can hear, if you listen closely, why exactly. If I shut up and let you hear anyways. You can actually see it at the corner of the screen as well. One of these uh, dark walls, which I should probably note more often. And it looks like we have what I think will be our final dream battle in here. You've come a long way just to die here at the edge of the world. No, do not speak. I have heard thousands and thousands of empty words from those like you. Your pride... Your desires, your desperation. You will take these things with you once I strike you down. Raise your weapon then, and die like those who came before you. Challenge the warrior dream? Yes, I believe I will. And you can actually see he has... an effect quite similar to our dream shield. You know, I bet you I can also get a lot of damage if I get below him. We can get a little that way. There we go. Come down here where I can reach you. Okay, a lot of damage off of this. And again, I just need to be in the right position for it. That went up from that. Okay, well, let's get out the way here. I'm not sure if this is safe. There we go. Need to swing in and hit when his shield is in the wrong position for us. Ooh, that's close. Brava, sorrow. And we can... I don't know if that was worth it. Well. Man. That got a lot. Ouch. Okay, he's got a second shield to make it that much harder to get in. I should probably oh, find a point in time to heal. Rob Bogaborg. Probably when he starts to do his 
shield spinny thing. Can't get all that much, but we can get a little. So now we have to we have to hit him. Oh because, well, obviously. If we don't hit him, we can't uh oh My. heal up any. And he keeps one shield close to him. When he now that he has two. Alright. Get at least ow one heal. That might be a uh oh. Alright, let's play the defensive game. Oh no! Did not play the defensive game well enough! I'm not sure where the last set of the bench. Oh good lord. I'm I should have set it a bench much closer. Alright, so I know where that is. Let me get back there and actually I think well no. I know where I'm gonna be going. There's a bench above it. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna tweak my items, and I will see you there. Alright, I'm back. I've just got to grab my shade real quick. As you can see, I have changed my uh, charms a little bit. Got rid of the compass for one, and traded out Mark of Pride for Long Nail, just to uh, still have some height, but I wanted to play with having my own shield. Raise your weapon then, fool, and die like those who came before you. We shall see if that is effective. I... Probably should have worked to get more health first, but or not more health, more soul. Ow. Alright. So we heal while he's spinning his shield. And it really does look quite similar to the one I have. I wonder if it will block his blades. Oh. Ah, that was bad. Get a little more healing in. And... Uh, he's not where I thought it was. Oh, thing I didn't try to dash through there. Alright. Don't need any healing, so let's just give him a nice little blast. And he should be down here. Good. good. I feel like I should probably... Oh, that was bad. Probably have him to the point where he's uh, summoning a second shield soon. Sadly, this time I kind of flubbed things up a bit. Ah. Okay. That's not a good. He's got, yeah, he's got a second shield now. Okay. Does make it a little harder to sneak in there, but pay attention, he can. Oh, well. And when you accidentally oh mess it up, at least take advantage of it, right? Now, this might be one of the times when I should be attacking rather than healing. Ah, right, let's get some hits in while we can. Alright! I think... First off, let's talk to the fellow. Never have I been defeated in combat. I can see myself there, still sleeping. How long have I been hidden here? Here at the edge of the world, no one could find me, except you. Warriors, knights, kings, even time itself, they have no power over me, only you. You are the darkness, come to consume me. I mean, I suppose that is kind of what I'm doing, actually. The body of a warrior with shield and nails. Alright, so that... If I'm correct, gives us a full journal. So, gorgeous husk. Corpulent husk encrusted with a shining metal. Retains the instinct to hoard Geo. There's bounty, or there's beauty in many things. Reflections of light and water, the taste of freshly killed meat, the cry of a hatchling for its mother. Never understood the lust for metals and stones, though. And further down, we should have fellow we just fought. I wish there was a way to go down faster, but I don't think there is. And, man, apparently scrolling this is really bad for frames. I went too far. 
Oh, did I ever look at the void tendrils I opened up? Yes, yeah, distract the easy to kill. So, Markoth. Lingering dream of a fallen warrior, only member of his forgotten tribe to take up a weapon. May your efforts lead you somewhere worthy, Markoth. Alright, so once again, we are going to take our gate back to somewhere. Where are we again? Well, it doesn't matter. Tram station. Not a tram station. Stag station. And we're going to push the wrong button. But we want to look at our map. That's not the map we want to look at. Where does the beast reside? We want to go visit him. Um, oh, we also need to visit Pierce so of the Beast. That's Salubra. Ah, up here. Okay, so the green path. Which is not that hard of a trip through this way. Okay, so we've got a few visits to do. I'm going to head up here to the Beast. And I will meet you there. Alright, here we are coming into the Beast's den. No idea what's going to happen here. Lumpus. Your journal. Lumpus. Let me see it. Yes, yes. The hunter's journal is complete. You have proven yourself a true hunter. A master of killing. And so with great pleasure I will give you the reward you deserve. Really expecting them to attack me. Especially with the ready to receive reward. Oh. Yep. Wow, like the whole thing is... Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. Hunter's Mark. A mark of honor belonging to a true hunter. Mark will be kept in the hunter's journal. So just a fake out attack? Nice. You have my mark. You shall be recognized as one of my rare cast... Cat, what? One of my rare cast... Fellow hunter, I have nothing else to give you. So, what does it... Do, like... Does it do something? I... I have no idea. So it'll be kept in here, but... Ah, there we go. The mark of a true hunter. I have no offspring, nor subjects, nor worshippers. The sum of my being, my learning, my instincts. I leave it all to you. Good luck, Hunter. All right, then. How do I get out of here? All right. So apparently, like, he's the whole thing. Very interesting. Can I stand on him? No. Sadly, I also can't even dream nail him. I, I rather actually enjoy that fake out on the fight because it really seemed the obvious thing to happen. Yep, that's it. Now, it is time for us to go see Leg Eater. Alright, we are here at Leg Eaters, and let's have a sit real quick. And I'm not sure if we have to put all of these on, but I'm going to do it just in case. There we go. Arg, arg, arg. Those charms, that smell so, so much. I want to, yes. I know where you are now, above me, much above me. But I know where to go, I will come. Don't try to hide from me. Okay, nice and creepy. All right, same thing, let's have a sit. And my understanding, I'm not sure if anything will change if I just pop back in and back out. Yes, he's gone. One, we don't need him anymore. But two, because he went somewhere and we shall follow a slightly longer trip just because of where my dream gate is. But not very far at all. Just another quick hop on the tram. 
Let's have a quick sit while we wait. And up to Dirtmouth. Because, of course, he is smelling the charms we got from Divine. And I don't know if it will really tell us exactly what's going on. We'll just have to see. Old Cloth is still there, nice and alive. Survive because I can't find things. One final gift. Ah! I liked it very much. Very, very good. So good. Herg. Herg. Now I can follow Master. All right. Enough. It's all enough. I'm very happy now. Ah, now I can follow Master. And as best as I can tell, she ate Leg Eater? The most exquisite things I've ever experienced. I'll take them with me. Precious, precious memories of you. Precious tastes and smells. Yep, so that's going to be my assumption, is that she ate Leg Eater? Good on something else? Not going into what that may or may not be, who knows? Anyways, that is it for this episode. I intend to do very much more, but... Well, kept on finding different paths that I actually hadn't explored down. So, I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. But, until next time, catch you later.